Tao overflows. Silence and mind. Silence is the death of the mind. When silence attains, when silence attains fruition or manifests or creates an aura around you, the mind is no more. Mind means conflict, mind means wavering, mind means waves constantly arising and striking the shore. Silence means waves are no more. The inner ocean of the being reflecting through the mind has no more waves arising. When silence is mind is no more mind means conditioning mind means identity crisis identities mind means conflict mind means waverings that state when mind is no more no more wavering or conflict what remains then is soul or being and dwelling in that state is known as the state of being. Silence is the transcendence of the mind. Mind means wavering. Now wavering is no more. Conflict is no more. Duality is no more. Silence is therefore the dissolution of the mind. And with that dissolves all conflict, wavering, indecision and duality. You come in the vast land of consciousness and that begins to function. Buddha says, I have said only that which is yatha bhutam, yatha bhutam, that which is. I have not said anything else. That is why my statements are so paradoxical and so illogical because truth is illogical. Truth is as it is. How it is? One moment you say I am hungry. You have eaten food. Next and someone who has recorded your words. I am hungry and preparing the meals, but you got something. And he brings you, you say, I am not hungry. So it is illogical and contradictory. To understand truth, you have to drop all logics. Mind is logic. Truth is beyond logic. That's why you can say it is illogical. It is like the behavior of the atom that waves, that has the both wave-like movement and a straight line as well. Simultaneously, atom waves and it is its movement is in a straight line as well. When Albert Einstein was asked about this, contradiction. He said, that is how is the behavior of atom, both wave-like and straight line as well. I am not a logician, Buddha says. Life too is not logic. Life is erratic. One moment you feel very hungry and half an hour you say you are no more hungry. During that time, hunger is satiated. Life is mystery to be lived, not to be solved. That is why Buddha says, Yatha Bhutam, as it is. As it is. At the moment, I am angry. Next moment, I am not. The Master knows, disciple is ma is in deep sleep. Master knows 
disciple is in deep sleep if i say see this flower you will find it incorrect you will find sleep in your sleep that this statement is incorrect you are apparently right what is seed you will say seed is seed to the gardener seed is the potentiality of being a flower so too an awakened one is the gardener of the inner and without this potentiality the, there can be no possibility to give birth to the flower if the seed does not have the potentiality to become flower it cannot grow into flower and what is flower indeed flower is the fruition the ultimate the last stage of the seed if i say where is butter butter is milk is butter but it has to go through the process and when from the milk you can make the butter but from the butter you cannot convert this into the milk from the seed you can get the flower but the same flower you cannot it cannot go back to become the seed however the flower gives birth to many seeds that form the part of the flower and they can become the seed this is yathabhutam in sanatan sanskriti 108 is an important number it is considered cosmic or mystical number it is so because 108 is the galactic ratio of our solar system 108 is the galactic ratio of our solar system with two major planets the sun and moon although moon is considered as sub planet but that is a different matter sun is the symbol of soul because sun is at the center of the cosmos and the moon is the symbol of the mind the distance between these both planets moon and the sun is in the ratio of 108 108 therefore to establish harmony between mind and the soul you have to count whatsoever you are doing using a word using a breathing exercise or anything you have to count 108 times on the beats rosary this 108 number is considered is connected to our life if this ratio increases or moves away by 10 then temperature will fall to such an extent that life on earth will become impossible and vice versa is also the case if the number it reduces or comes closer by 10 then two temperature on earth will be so high that life will be impossible therefore this number 108 creates the balance or the synergy of life on earth and the individual life as well that's why it is very significant significance of moon the earth leans at 23.5 degrees earth leans at 23.5 degrees and then rotates on its axle around the sun as a result sunlight does not fall directly on earth if the sunlight if the earth rotates straight 
without tilt of 23.5 degrees. In that case, temperature on equator will be very high and on poles north and the south pole will be so low that life would become impossible. Because of this leaning, there are two major seasons, winter and summer, and several intermediate st states or sub-seasons. The earth leans 23.5 degrees because of the ratio of the distance between ratio of the distance from the moon. If moon somehow moves away 10 degrees, earth's leaning will disappear. Earth will not lean and life again will be impossible. Therefore, the science of religion that says that whatsoever number has been decided are such are with such depth and scientific precision. That's why 108 is very important. Therefore, to establish balance between mind and soul, you are asked to count 108 times whatsoever you are asked to do, whether counting the breath count, whether the any word, mantra or zikr count. Have you ever noticed that there are only 12 months in a year. Empirically, the number should have been 10. Entire Sanatan science and knowledge is based on Akashic movement. The time Earth takes to complete one round around the Sun, the time that Earth takes Earth moves around the Sun on its axle in 365 near about number of days. During that period, the Moon revolves, takes 12 rounds around the Earth. As a result, there are 12 months in a year. Ask any professor of mathematics why there are 360 degrees in a circle. It is so because Akashic circles that Earth explains that Earth takes round the Sun and that process, in that process Earth rotates 360 times on the axle, 360 times on its axle, hence the psych, this circle has 360 degrees. The entire Sanatan awareness from inner to outer, from cosmic form to minute miniature form is intimately embedded. Have you ever noticed? You meditate on meditate and your eyes see dark black color. That is why Krishna and Vishnu are of dark color, dark complexion. They symbolize the process of transformation of our mental state. And when in the state of meditation or dhyan, you move within, deep within, a stage comes when you envision light of awakening and then a day comes when this light of awakening disappears also. So this is the entire process. First you experience the dark spot, then you envision the light and then one day the light also vanishes. Only this much for this morning. Take care and do have a pleasant day.